Today on Block Success Journal, Web Hosting 101, what's a VPS, a virtual private server? What the heck is it? Do you want one? Do you not? It's our favorite type of web hosting. Ab absolutely, bar none, our favorite type of web hosting once you've gotten out of the development phase and you have some funding for your web, you have some money to spend more than five bucks a month for your web host. Now, it's very nimble, very flexible, and very cost effective, much more so than the dedicated server. Think of a VPS as a cross between shared web hosting and the dedicated server. You know, it's, it's like really high-end shared web hosting. Instead of having hundreds of websites on this web server, there are just a very few web uh, websites, yours being one of them, it's like a very exclusive shared web hosting. <laughs> it's a private club. It's, it's a private club. It's very exclusive and more expensive, but with more reliable shared web hosting. Um, so it's basically a huge high-end server shared between just a few neighbors. Definitely what we recommend once you outgrow your, your cheap shared web host. Now, cost. Anywhere from $50 to $250 a month. Don't just base it on cost because most of them suck. We've tried a bunch of them. And the, the problem with VPS with a lot of VPS providers, they oversell, which means you end up with the same crappy problems you have you on You may as well be on shared hosting. hosting. Exactly. So, but the pros though, but if you get the right one, you're set. It's great. Now, the pros, you pay for what you need. You know, you can start with a $50 a month and uh, the plan, and, and as your traffic grows and grows, it literally, it's a five minute upgrade to double your, your, your speed. You don't have mm -hmm. to move from this box to another box. You know, if you get a traffic spike, most VPSs, what a lot of people don't know, will accommodate instantly your traffic spike, you know, what they call bursting. Basically, in, instead of having a dedicated server where this is what you got, and if you get mentioned on Oprah or somewhere, or get on Dig and your traffic doubles, it runs into this limit and your site stops. They just turn it off. It, We've actually had sites turned off before. You know, or you're getting too much traffic, boom, turn you off. Or your site goes kind of epileptic, you know, it just kind of stops, ah. you know, and, and that's not what you want. You want your server to be able to accommodate that spike. VPSs by default can, what they, it's called bursting. You know, you have a guaranteed CPU, but it can burst to four CPUs. You know, you have a guaranteed two gigs of RAM, but it can burst momentarily to eight gigs in case of that spike. Don't think that's free, though. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> as you grow, it's literally, I mean, it's literally push the button to get more, though. So it's a really good thing. Yeah, it's really good. Now, what are the caveats with VPS? Again, it's all about the provider. You've got to pick a good quality, reliable provider with good serve, the good support team on the back end. We okay. found a total of one we after found looking everywhere. one, okay. You don't know how many providers we tried, and Dan's like, I know more about what I'm asking them to fix than the, you know, the and support I shouldn't, guys know. I shouldn't. And we should not know more. No, I found one that knows <laughs> way more than I know. Awesome. And here's so the thing, on these high-end services that they use for the VPS services, if your site does go down or if the server, you know, for God knows whatever reason something breaks or burns up on it, it they're usually quick replaceable parts and you're up in, you know, half hour, hour at the most rather than being down for 24, 48 hours. Yeah, that, that, that's really kind of the, the tar pit of dedicated servers. If it kind of goes down, you're kind of screwed in nah. a lot of cases. So, so anyway, go to blogsetsestrong.com, click on the resources button at the top, see who our recommended host is, and we highly recommend them. And also That's let why us we know, use them. who is your favorite VPS provider and why? Yeah, absolutely. Leave a comment.